everybody. Hello. This is John here. This is Paul. George. And Ringo. And we're very happy to be on your program once again. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Beatles News Briefs. I'm your host, Steve Marinucci, and we have a very special show for you today. Those of you that are on our Beatles News and Information Group uh, saw earlier this week that Mark Lapidus, the founder and originator of the Fest for Beatles fans, postponed his upcoming fest because of the coronavirus. We have an exclusive interview with Mark in this show talking about what was behind the decision and what fans can expect as far as the reschedule goes, as far as what's known now, because there has been no decision announced yet. He doesn't announce a decision in this show, but he does talk about what little is known of the plans for the rescheduling since they haven't been announced yet. And he does say a couple of newsworthy things in the interview that you'll want to know about if you're, especially if you're going to the fest. So that's the headline in today's show. But also, it just so happens this morning, the Beatles announced that the Walt Disney Studios were going to release Peter Jackson's new new look at Let It Be. It's called The Beatles, colon, Get Back, and it will be in theaters in September. So that's an exciting piece of news, and Mark and I briefly talked about that at the end of the interview. And he also said some stuff about that, too, that uh, you'll probably want to hear. So, here's the interview with Mark, and at the end of the interview, I'll talk a little more about the details from the press release from Let It Be from this morning. But here's my exclusive interview with Mark. We're here with Mark Lapidus, the owner, the uh, founder, and is that... founder, the founder and the originator and president of the Fest for Beatles fans. There we go. There we go. Um, and uh, Mark uh, had some uh, some news this week um, that uh, anybody uh, attending the fest um, will want to know about um, that the fest is being postponed. And Mark, I'm going to. First, to ask you, just go ahead and tell everybody what led into the decision, and um, you know uh, why, what happened, what 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 uh, what led into this. Well, by now it's obvious to everybody, but right. a week ago, the, the coronavirus was still hadn't exploded in the country. Mm-hmm. Um, we only had one in New Jersey, a, a, a report of one, one confirmed. And then it jumped to two and jumped to three and four. And it's still, I mean, I'm, I was thinking that, you know, it's a lot of people, 20 million people in the metropolitan area, a couple hundred people is not enough to, to it's like uh, no percent of, of, of 100%. Mm-hmm. But I realized on Sunday there was an announcement saying that people, I mean, I hadn't planned to make an announcement I was thinking of waiting till today. This is like a week ago. Mm-hmm. Because after today, everything gets into motion. It's hard to stop the show. So uh, Sunday, I heard the announcement that they recommend all citizens 16 and over not go to public uh, events where there's large gatherings and enclosed uh, circumstances. Right. And half hour... Our audience, our core audience, are senior citizens. They're, they're 60 and over. We're not senior citizens. No. We're 60 and over. That's right. We're young. That's right. So take that. Right. That's um, right. So that, at that moment, I said, well, that's it. You know, Carol had been, been nervous about it, and rightly so, for a while. But I had been thinking, well, it's not going to really take off until after the fest, probably. Um, but we decided to announce it <clears throat> on Monday morning, and we did. 
and in the note that I sent out, you received it, of course, right? Yes, yes, I did. So in the note I sent, I said, what if the, if the governor of the state of New Jersey declares a state of uh, a national an emergency, state of emergency, and he, he, at, a, at a, a stroke of a pen, he can declare everything, no, no public events, mm-hmm. nobody, no gatherings. And imagine if that would happen, it would happen like the day before the fest or the morning, when so many people would have flown in and and spent the money with non-refundable because they would have once you use your airline ticket then I could give you credit right and be at the hotel and then all of a sudden we we're all set up and we we get shut down that risk was much too high for us and for everybody coming to the show mm-hmm. and the health is our health is the most important thing that was the deciding factor. And and so. in the days since you made the announcement, I mean it, it's it's astonishing. I mean everybody everybody's doing it now. I mean you were yep. I mean you were one of the first and and you you know you had to think about you know the 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 time ahead for the fest. Um, but now I mean we're we're getting word upon word. I mean I'm sitting here looking at my phone while you know waiting to talk to you and. You know, more and more bulletins are coming in about you know they they canceled uh, Coachella, they canceled. No, I thought they, I thought they postponed it till October. I'm I'm sorry, they 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 postponed it. Yeah, they postponed that. The, the, the it, one in Florida was the US, South by Southwest was was canceled. South by Southwest completely. was canceled completely. Correct. Yeah, and and uh, I mean more and more things are happening. You know, by the hour as it seems so. It is, it's true. I mean, I I think they canceled the St. Patrick's Day parade in New York City. They did. They Someone did that too. That. They did. They did they that did. too. They well, did that, that too. That's a million people. That's like a, a hundred year tradition or something like that in New York. Right. And I did. I hear that uh, the half marathon in New York City was canceled. Haven't I? Haven't heard I that. Think, I haven't heard that. I heard of the parades were already been canceled, or something in Boston and something in New York. Other things. The I think the St. Patrick's Day parade in Boston. Mm-hmm. Which is where I'm originally from, and which was a huge thing every year. I think that's been canceled yeah. too. Yeah. So, um, so those, right there, boom. You know, right. So, you know, the response. Steve, the response I got from the folks attending was nearly completely, a hundred percent, supportive. Right. And they, a lot of more. We I, we got so many comments. Mark Helm, this must have been such a difficult decision. Uh, I was so looking forward to the fest, but I understand that you had to do it, and good for you. And most of the comments were just like that. There was maybe three or four that say, "What's the matter? It's fake. It's not really happening." And uh, why you? It's only five people in New Jersey have it. Mm-hmm. So you know, I I wrote each one of those people back, and I. I, there was only four people, I think, actually. Mm-hmm. Two of them said, "You're absolutely right." One said, "Well, we don't, we don't. We, what are we worried about this for? More people die of the flu." I said, "Well, we can all get flu shots for free. Nothing has been created yet for this virus." That's right. And you said, "Oh, you, good point, Mark. Good point. I guess you're right." But you know, I wanted to. I didn't have to respond to to the naysayers, maybe, but I did, and I, you know, I wanted to. Okay. Now, as far as 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 far as the people who had planned to go, obviously, the, I know you said the tickets are still uh, going to be honored. What about the reservations for the people who have reservations? What's going to happen there? I've, I've already I've already taken care of that with the hotel. Okay. The hotel, <clears throat> they can't just take the reservations and move them to another date. But right. we're meeting with the hotel tomorrow. So we're going to be talking to them about that and and uh, try to nail down the dates. Okay. So the, so, so you're talking tomorrow being the twelfth. You're going to talk to them on the twelfth. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, the 12th, yes. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm we just. Have, I'm just. I'm just timing this for everybody to because they're not all going to oh, listen right. to it uh, today. But. Um, right. And so, we may have an announcement on the dates very very soon. Do you really? have? I mean, did, do you have a specific? You have a. I know you're. You haven't made an announcement, and I'm not trying to pin you down. But do you have a specific time period that you're aiming at? Do you know? 
you know, yeah. how, go ahead. Yes, yeah, sometime after tomorrow. <laughs> no, Steve, I'm, <laughs> no. Not, I'm not saying a word about it, but it's obvious that we can't, nobody can do anything in the next three months. We've got to wait for the virus to get out of the right. country. Okay. That, that, now, that's all I'm asking for is uh, all I was trying to get yeah. was, you know, well, what you were the, looking for. What... Right, for people worried about the dates, it's certainly not going to be before July 1st because who would take a chance of moving something when it could still be the end of the virus right. happening? Ex- exactly. So it's, it's, we don't even know. Who knows how long it's going to last? Right. But the experts are saying that generally these things blow over in two to three months. Okay. Which could be pretty bad. And from what we're hearing in China, not that we can believe them, but they're saying it's slowing down there. Okay. Let's let's cross our fingers and hope. How about the guest yeah. list? Are the guests are all the guests uh, committed to to uh, coming back? Uh, I didn't. I don't tell. Him, I didn't tell anybody the dates yet. But Billy's fine, and uh, Jenny I spoke to. She's fine. Um, who else do we have? Um, I'm sure the weaklings will be fine. Right. Liverpool. Right. Okay. You know, it, it, everyone will have to adjust. You know, we all have to adjust. It was a. It was a. Again, it was a very stressful. I'm not a stressful person, but it was really stressful doing this. But once, once we did it, and we made the announcement. It was like this big weight was lifted. Yeah. Okay. And you know, it's going to be a tough, financially, it's going to be a, it's going to be a difficult time probably for everybody. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's that, what's going to, who knows what's going to happen, you know? Right. Right. Wait and see. But, you know, Chicago's plans are going forward. That's in August. Okay. And, and so we'll, 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 as soon as we, as soon as we get everything worked out, which I hope will be tomorrow, Friday, the <laughs> Thursday, the 12th of March. Wait, 12th of March, you know what that is. Was that Paul and Linda got married. Let's so, talk about one piece of good news that actually came out today, was the release of the Let It Be movie in September. Um, yes. Are, are, you, I'm, I, are you excited about I'm I'm sure you are. Um, of course I am. Is the fest going to have anything with that? Is there going to be anything... Uh, do you know of any? And is there going to be any preview or anything that you guys are doing with that? Do you know yet? Well, we we were working on on something like that for this show, um, but it's you know it's, it's they just announced it today, so I'm not going to even go anywhere. But I, I know they had a a short preview about a month or two, a private preview. Yeah, did you see so, that? Did you did you see try it? Try to work that out. Did you see the no, preview? Only, no, I did not. Did you? No, I did not. I'm, it's. I think it was just in Los Angeles, and I'm not that close to Los Angeles yeah, to see it. I mean, it's probably just the uh, executives of the top company. Well, they they announced that Disney is uh, putting it out, so that's pretty special. Yeah, that is pretty special. Uh, I I was wondering actually, since I have uh, Disney Plus, uh, if they're either going if it eventually will get streamed there. Like uh, you know, like Hulu picked up uh, with eight days a week. Uh, who knows? Um, that's an interesting, interesting uh, question. Uh, You're right. I, I suppose we'll. But I love the comment that Ringo made in that release. Mm-hmm. That it really shows how much love, how much we really loved each other when we were playing. Right. Right. Uh, I'm yeah, crazy, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be fun to see that. It's definitely going to be fun, and and and, and on top of it, you know, the other the uh, the old movie, the original movie, is going to be out too eventually. They said so. That's yeah. that's that's a good thing too. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know how they're going to put it on on DVD and, and Blu-ray, but maybe they'll put them all in one big package or separate them. Whatever they do, we'll be fine. You know, that right. their decision. Yeah. It'll be it'll be it, it'll be great to have it out. Uh, I mean, this is something that people have been wishing for for years, and I'm glad uh, you know yeah. that something is finally happening. Happening anyway, Mark. Thank you for taking the time. Good luck with You're the welcome. good luck with the fest, and good luck with the rescheduling. And um, is there a message you want to just tell anybody, everybody, uh, on the way out? Sure. Yeah. Thank you all for all your support over the last 46 years. Um, it's 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 my life's work. It turns out to be, and and I just love what I do, what I do, and it's it's like a it's like a Beatles Thanksgiving every fest. I'm sure many of you who watch this, listen to this podcast 
know that and you've been to the fest and it's really it's very special it's hard to describe but you know we have this common love for the beatles and those of us in the first generation we first said i want to hold your hand and it grabbed us and and never let go and it's a it's a great common bond to be associated with the, the greatest musical and entertainment phenomenon in the history of the planet okay that, that that that's a great that's a great great way to end it. Mark, thank you and uh thank you, and best of uh, best to uh Carol and ever and the family and um thank good you. good luck with the vest. Take care. And you and watch for my emails because we may have an announcement very, very soon. Okay. We will one of our people know the minute it's set. So all right, take care. Take care, Mark. Well. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yep. Don't get pimples. Again, thank you to Mark for that interview. And let me give you some of the details that were in the press release this morning from the Beatles about the new Let It Be movie. It's called The Beatles Call and Get Back. It will be released by the Walt Disney Studios in the United States and Canada on September 4th. The announcement was made today by Robert Iger, the executive chairman of the Walt Disney Company at Disney's annual meeting of shareholders. He said, no band has had the kind of impact on the world that the Beatles have had, and the Beatles, colon, get back. It's a front seat, front row seat to the inner workings of these genius creators at a seminal moment in music history with spectacularly restored footage that looks like it was shot yesterday. I'm a huge fan myself, so I could not be happier that Disney is able to share Peter Jackson's stunning documentary with global audiences in September. Those of you with long memories will know that this is not the first time that Disney has partnered with the Beatles. The making of Sgt. Pepper way back when, which was a tremendous film, it was on the Disney Channel, and that had Sgt. Pepper outtakes. And that was one of the first, if not the first project the Beatles authorized to allow outtakes. Anyway, um, the the movie, the, mu- the, the, the music of the film will be mixed by Giles Martin and Samuel Kell at Abbey Road Studios in London. Uh, Peter Jackson said, working on this project has been a joyous discovery. I've been privileged to be a fly on the wall while the greatest man of all time works, plays, and creates masterpieces. I'm thrilled that Disney has stepped up as our distributor. There's no better, no one better to have our movie seen by the greatest number of people. Um, Paul McCartney said, I'm really happy that Peter has delved into our archives to make a film that shows the truth about the Beatles recording together. The friendship and love between us comes over and reminds us of what a crazily beautiful time we had. Ringo Starr said, I'm really looking forward to this film. Peter is great, and it was co- so cool looking at all this footage. There was hours and hours of us just laughing and playing music, not at all like the version that came out. There was a lot of joy, and I think Peter will show that. I think this version will be a lot more peace and loving like we really were. And that quote from Ringo really kind of says it all. They are looking to rewrite history for good or bad. Um, they tried to do that with Let It Be Naked, and now they're doing it with with this, I suppose you could say. Um, you know, in, in the beginning, I think I uh, wondered if it was necessary. Maybe it's not such a bad idea that they do this, although, thankfully, they are not forgetting the original movie. It will be reissued um, at some point. It does not say it will be reissued with the new film. I believe the earlier announcement of the film, the original announcement said it would. This does not say that, but we don't know you know, exactly what they're going to do yet. Um, one thing that the press release did say is that the entire 42-minute rooftop concert will be included, which is really good. I mean, we have 
seen extra audio from that released on bootlegs over the years, so it'll be good that they are releasing the entire concert again, and I'm sure there will be stuff that we have not seen or angles that we have not seen in the new film, so that's a really good thing. There was no mention in the press release, by the way, about a sound soundtrack album. So there's something to look forward to because you know there will be. So that should be fun. So there you go. And that's some good news. It'll, it'll be out bef way before Christmas. Uh, and I'm sure we'll hear more about it as time goes on. Anyway, um, that's the show for today. If you have not uh, joined us on the Beatles News and Information page on Facebook, please do. We welcome you where we post news and information um, as it comes in, like we did today with this press release. We posted it right after we got it. Um, you also find out about the, sh the, sh the show as it's posted. So, hey, why not? Um, we'll hope to see you there. Um, also, there's our That's What I Want Beetle Store page on Facebook with uh, postings of things for you and the Beetle fans in your life. Um, otherwise, we will look for you next time. On behalf of myself and our contributing editor, Candy Leonard, author of Beetleness, I would like to say thank you for listening, and until next time... Be seeing you! that one market fab